Hello everyone, how are you doing? This is MD Tech here with another quick tutorial. In today's video, I'm going to show you guys how to hopefully resolve if your Windows 7 computer is stuck on the welcome or loading screen when you're trying to boot into the operating system. So this tutorial will address that issue and hopefully it should resolve most of your guys' issues. So the primary thing we're going to be trying to get into in this tutorial will be safe mode. So if you are familiar with safe mode, there's a couple different ways to access it. One easy way to do it would be to do a hard power off, so basically hold in your power button on your computer three times in a row, so push it in for a few seconds and then let the computer turn back on. And after a couple cycles of that, you'll come to a screen that looks like this. This says Windows Error Recovery. Also, if you know how to get to your advanced boot options or advanced recovery options, it will likely be one of your function keys on your keyboard. Now it depends on where your computer manufacturer is, so it'll be a little different. It could be the escape F2 or F8 keys, so it could vary on that. So depending on whatever you want to do, it's fine, but we basically want to get to safe mode networking here. So I'm going to use my arrow keys until I highlight it over safe mode with networking, and then I'm going to enter on my keyboard to begin this process. Okay, so now that we're in safe mode, there's a couple different things we can try. The first one I would recommend doing would be to run a check disk scan. And that would be to open up the start menu and type in CMD. Under any programs, there should be something that says CMD listed in here. You want to right click on it and then left click on run as administrator. Now into this elevated command line window, you want to type in CHK, DSK space and then whatever drive letter Windows is installed on. Most people should be the C drive. If you're unsure you can open up the start menu and type in system and underneath control panel just select the system entry in here and it will tell you if you open up the start menu and type in computer. Underneath programs just left click on computer here and it'll tell you whatever hard disk Windows is installed on. More than likely it'll be the local disk and if you open it up it'll have Windows subfolders in here so it should be pretty evident by going through that. So again in this utility you type in CHK DSK. In my case I'm going to have the C drive so I'm going to type the letter C. Immediately after that I'm going to have a colon so basically one dot on top of another dot. And then I'm going to do a space forward slash F and then I'm going to enter on my keyboard. It's going to say the type of file is more than likely going to be NTFS, cannot lock the current drive. Check this cannot run because the volume is in use by another process. Would you like to schedule this volume to be checked the next time your system restarts? So at this point you want to type the Y key on your keyboard, hit enter. It should come back to you if it says that this volume will be checked the next time the system restarts. So I would recommend closing out of here and then restart your computer.
Okay, so we can see that we've gone back into our Windows computer here. Now, if that did not work for you, let's go back to the screen that we were on in the beginning of the tutorial. And now we're going to go back to safe mode with networking. Now we're going to open up the start menu and you want to type in system restore. One of the best matches under programs should say system restore here. You want to left click on that. Left click on next. And now there should be a list of the restore points that have been saved on your computer. I'd recommend backing up to the most recently created one and then selecting next. And then click on finish here. Please note that once you've started System Restore, it cannot be interrupted. Do you want to continue? Left click on Yes. Now this will take a few moments or a few minutes, I should say, to run, so just be patient. Okay guys, so that's pretty much it. System Restore has completed successfully. It has been restored. Your documents have not been affected. So hopefully one of the methods I went through in this tutorial does yield positive results for you guys. And as always, thank you for watching this tutorial. I do hope I was able to help you out. And I look forward to catching you all in the next tutorial. Goodbye.